This is for colic. You know when a baby really cries a lot and they're uncomfortable, usually they say that's colic. You can literally breastfeed your baby on one boob and use this to carry your lid down. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Masi and I'm so excited to have you over and I hope that you'll be sticking around by clicking the subscribe button below. It's completely free and you will not be charged for it, I promise you. If you are returning, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your support. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen countless videos on baby essentials, but did you really relate to all of those videos? Did they really make your first time mom experience feel very easy? I'm really asking these questions because I found that as a first time mom myself, I was so dumb when it comes to shopping for my baby. I did not know what we would need. I did not know where to begin with shopping. All I wanted was, you know, nice clothing and nice things, but I had no idea where to begin. So if you are an expectant mom or know someone who is, then please continue to watch this video because I'm going to be sharing important things to add on to your list of your big baby shopping. And remember, these are baby essentials. Essentials. It's not luxuries. Um, if you're looking for those, this video is not about that. It's about simple things that every baby, you know, will have. So let's get straight to it. The first thing you are going to need is obviously nappies. So funny that I still have this size too. <laughs> But anyway, I was going to say that um, be careful not to buy a lot of size zeros. Is it size zero? Newborn. Um, because, well, I found that with me. And also the reason why I'm doing this video, guys, is because um, I am a first-time mom. And with the experience I've had in the first year of, you know, parenting, I can give a bit of advice to really help you in your motherhood journey as well. So I found that you don't really use a lot of newborns. So... Be careful not to buy a lot of newborn. I personally just advise not to buy newborn uh, newborn size at all. Rather buy size one and size two. And also some hospitals actually give, you know, a newborn size, a pack of newborn in the hospital. So we had that pack and it lasted for about two weeks, which was enough because after that, my son went to size one and before I knew it, he was on size two and, and, and. Another thing that's very important that also goes with the nappies is obviously wipes. So we use the Huggies wet wipes. These are pure water wipes and they have no fragrances at all. I want to say to you guys that be careful not to buy anything that smells really amazing. I know, I know you want your baby to smell good. I know you want your baby to smell like strawberries and mangoes and stuff, but it's really, it's, it's not important. Believe me, it's not important for the first few months. Um, everything you buy must be fragrance free. You will thank me later. The next thing is a balm cream. A balm cream is very important. We use the pepanthin. Um, I like this very much. It comes very highly recommended. We've always used it from birth and my baby's balm really responds well to this. He's never gotten any rash since he was born, so I assume it's good. But I mean, any balm cream should work perfectly fine. Next thing that's very important is to have a surgical spirit and some cotton balls. Cotton and surgical spirit. So this is to clean the baby's stump. We're gonna clean the stump with it before it falls and after, just to have the area nice and clean. So you will that. also need some wands. So these we'll use obviously to clean the baby's ear. And also I wanted to show you something that there's a difference between normal earbuds that we use as adults and then there's these ones for babies. They actually have this big fluffy thingy here that actually prevents you from you know going deeper. So it's very important to have these. Not the normal ones because hey, accidents happen. Also you want to have a nasal aspirator. A nasal aspirator is something like these. Back in the day, my mom used to tell me they used to literally, you know, have their mouths over the baby's nose and literally just suck the mucus out. I'm sorry, I love my child, I love motherhood, but I'm not about to do that. So these work perfectly for me. So I want to say that um, there's different kinds of aspirators. Um, for instance, this one is just an aspirator, right? But I prefer this one because this one, you can literally take this thing off and then you are able to clean it, you know? Um, but this one, you can't really open it, so it becomes disgusting. I don't like using it. How you use it is you press it hard, you insert it on the baby's nose, and then you slowly release your fingers off it. And then it just sucks all that mucus, and then you're done. You are going to need toiletries for baby, obviously. You know, they are human beings. <laughs> 
but for us because my baby is very sensitive i use this epizone cream to to obviously for wash and then i use this dexerol as a body lotion it's very expensive but it's worth it because my baby has never had skin issues again since we use this so yeah that's what we use i use the cetaphil baby for his hair yeah love it very good i use baby oil for his hair to kind of you know moisturize it a bit also very important guys please put this in your list is colic drops our preferred choice telement it's very amazing it's very good it works perfectly you can find this at clicks at this game or you know i'm sure it many stores really this is for colic you know when a baby really cries a lot and they're uncomfortable um usually they say that's colic so this is very good and it comes very highly recommended so please do get this on your list you are going to love it baby washing detergent is very important in my house we use the green bar the sunlight green bar it works perfectly um all my baby's clothes are hand washed yes i do hand wash them myself but obviously we have a nanny and she does that for us next thing a thermometer i don't know how many times i can stress about this thing it's very important very very important don't have one buy five buy ten just buy them you will use this to check the baby's temperature every single time i want to say you will need a soother i know many moms don't encourage soothers um i i don't have problems with soothers really soothers become a problem when moms literally just forget that the baby has eaten because that soother has been on baby's mouth the whole day it's it's not nice so as long as you you schedule your your feeding times and stuff and the baby is full and obviously you will know that the baby is full if they have you know regular stools you know regular healthy stools so yeah don't just like each time the baby cries you put the damn thing on give the baby food you will also need um, a medicine dropper so this is very important because when a baby is still young they are not able to you know take your instructions babe open the mouth no they can't do that so this is very important um we had many of these that's why i still have one that's you know new i haven't used it well it's gonna probably wait for the second child but um this is a syringe and a bottle adapter i don't want to take it out now but literally just put the syringe and then just you know go in with uh, with medicine onto the baby's mouth and that's done bottles are important and you should have some i know many moms breastfeed i also did breastfeed however after a couple of weeks i discovered that my supply was actually going down so i needed something to you know push my supply up again and then i decided to buy a pump but also better than a pump is this baby here I'm so sorry it's gonna be dirty now because guys I have a big baby we don't use these things anymore but this is a hand pump you guys it is amazing I think it's better than all the pumps I've heard of to be honest um, because this is really amazing so whether you pump or not whether you use bottles or not I will suggest that you buy this it's a silicone hand pump it's available at clicks um i think we've got it at this game as well um so just shop around and see i am going to link it down if i do find it but this is the silicone hand pump it's very important whether you're going to use a bottle or not you can literally breastfeed your baby on one boob and use this to carry your letdowns thank me later thank me later and this is obviously the pump that we used um it worked it worked fine but i'm telling you that hand pump it's it's magic better than these things and these things are expensive anyway um but the hand pump number one what about clothing you may ask yourself and mommy i know you cannot wait for your baby to wear sneakers and ulsters and you know all these fancy clothing but the reality is that baby needs to be as comfortable as they can during the first few months i'm about to list some simple clothing that you should consider buying guys these are baby essentials i want to emphasize this because i'm not trying to to be fancy so these are really simple things that any baby is going to need the first thing your baby is going to need is a romper full-size rompers I also call them baby grows romper baby grow whatever you want to call it but this you will need i suggest that you buy at least six of these you can buy like different ones you know just to play it around but um, at least six of these some vests i suggest that you buy at least five of the short ones and five long ones so again just play it around you know and buy you know different ones five of the short ones and then five of these long ones 
again play around and you know buy different ones but five long and five short i suggest you also buy some pants so these are just simple pants these you can have about six of them don't forget some socks and some bibs these you will need very very much like uh, yeah i mean a bib is a bib you will need it um but i mean i don't have anything to show for like socks and bibs because many of the things i've had to give away to relatives that had babies and obviously some moms um that needed some so i'm sorry if i don't have anything to show okay but some bibs and socks are very important depending on when you give birth i think you will need mittens mittens are like gloves like a sock glove um, for babies they call mittens i know Woolworths will have them so we didn't need mittens because i gave birth high summer and it was literally hot for many months thereafter so we didn't have to use mittens but also if you don't have mittens you can definitely use your socks put the sock on baby's hand and the baby will be fine also some beanies very important my mom is a retired nurse and she always complains about how like tina like these new moms we don't cover our baby's head so it's very important according to the older generation <laughs> yeah they stress about it but um you will need these i'll say i have about five of these to you know change them around also very important to have is how oh, so you can have like two of these to just change you know you don't need 10 of these it's just towels for after bath. I like this one. We got it at Woolies back in the day and it's very nice. Some little shaki. Little shaki. And then last but not least, blankets. I will suggest that you have at least two warm blankets and two light ones. So like this is like a very warm one. You will need like these, you know, a bigger warmish one. This is a light one. It's still warm, but it's, it's lighter than the other one. So you can have that. And then you will need these as well. So this is just a light blanket. I used these as well to swaddle. If you can, just get these like very, very light ones. So I used these to, to swaddle my baby up. You know how they make them like, you know, nice and tucked in. So I used to do that with these ones. They worked very perfectly for that. And that is literally all guys i personally found this list very practical for me i like that it was very straight to the point and i could find things easy you know they made sense for me which made our early motherhood and parenting journey so easy with that said i really hope that you found this video very informative all the best with your pregnancy and congratulations on being a mom motherhood is a very exciting journey and i really hope you enjoy it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and share with your friends and family this will help the video reach people that may actually need it. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah.